Yo, it's Dr. Cool. Hold on to your hats, petrol heads, because the car world is on the verge of a seismic shift. Forget your electric this and your hybrid, that the future might just be powered by good old-fashioned air and leading the charge none other than General Motors, the American automotive giant with their groundbreaking compressed air engine. This isn't some pie-in-the-sky concept car destined for a dusty museum corner. GM is serious about air power and they're throwing their considerable weight behind this revolutionary technology. Why? Because it has the potential to shake the very foundations of the auto industry, offering a tantalizing glimpse of a cleaner, more sustainable future. Imagine a world where cars silently glide through our streets, their only emission a gentle puff of air. No more noxious fumes choking our cities, no more guilt trips about our carbon footprint. This is the promise of GM's air engine, and it's a future worth getting excited about. But can air really compete with the raw power of gasoline or the quiet efficiency of electricity? Buckle up, because we're about to take a deep dive into the fascinating world of GM's air-powered revolution. Now, I know what you're thinking. Air-powered cars? Sounds like something out of a children's cartoon. But trust me, the science behind GM's invention is anything but childish. It's actually quite ingenious. Picture this, a tank filled with compressed air squeezed in at a whopping 4,500 psi. That's like trying to inflate a car tire with the force of a rocket. This pressurized air is the engine's lifeblood, ready to be unleashed to generate power. When you hit the accelerator, the compressed air is released in a controlled burst, pushing pistons that turn the car's wheels. It's the same principle as your internal combustion engine, just without the explosions and the nasty byproducts. And here's the clever bit. When you brake, the car's kinetic energy is used to compress more air, topping up the tank like a self-charging battery. It's regenerative braking, just like you see in electric cars, but instead of storing electricity, we're storing compressed air. Now, I'm not saying it's as simple as strapping a scuba tank to your bumper and calling it a day. There are complex valves, turbines, and pressure regulators involved, all working in perfect harmony to deliver a smooth and efficient ride. But the basic principle is beautifully elegant. Harness the power of compressed air to create a clean, efficient, and potentially game-changing engine. Let's be honest, folks. Gasoline has had a good run. Over a century of powering our cars, but it's time for a clean break. And no, I'm not talking about those soulless electric contraptions. GM's compressed air engine offers a breath of fresh air. Literally, it emits absolutely zero harmful emissions. That's right, nothing but pure, clean air coming out of the tailpipe. Imagine the impact on our cities, our planet, our lungs. No more smog-filled skies, no more choking on exhaust fumes, no more guilt trips about our carbon footprint. With GM's air engine, we can finally bid farewell to the dirty legacy of fossil fuels. But it's not just about what comes out of the tailpipe, it's also about what goes into making these cars. Electric vehicles might seem clean on the surface, but the mining of rare earth minerals for their batteries is anything but. GM's air engine, on the other hand, relies on readily available materials and simpler manufacturing processes. This means less environmental damage, lower production costs, and a more sustainable approach to car manufacturing. So wave goodbye to the guilt-inducing gas guzzlers and the ethically questionable electrics. The future of clean driving is powered by air and it's looking brighter by the mile. Now I know what you're thinking. All this sounds great, but what about the price tag? Well, that's where things get really interesting. See, one of the biggest hurdles for electric vehicles has always been the cost of those fancy lithium-ion batteries. But with GM's compressed air engine, there's no need for expensive batteries. The engine itself is simpler, with fewer moving parts, meaning lower production costs. And because there are no batteries to replace, long-term ownership costs plummet. Think about it, no more eye-watering bills for a new battery pack every few years, no more range anxiety and the desperate search for a charging station. Just fill up your air tank in minutes and be on your way. And when it comes to sustainability, GM's air engine leaves both gasoline and electric vehicles in the dust. The production process is cleaner, the materials are more readily available, and there's no need for environmentally damaging mining practices, of course. It's not a perfect solution. There are still challenges to overcome, hurdles to jump, and skeptics to prove wrong. 
but the potential is undeniable. A clean, affordable and sustainable future for the automotive industry, powered by the very air we breathe. Section 5. The need for speed addressing range and performance concerns. Right, let's address the elephant in the room, or should I say the hamster on the treadmill. Yes, I'm talking about range and performance, the two areas where electric cars have traditionally struggled. And so does compressed air, to be frank. Now, the current generation of GM's air-powered prototypes won't be winning any drag races. You're looking at a range of around 140 miles on a single tank of air, which is fine for city driving, but not ideal for a cross-country road trip. And let's not forget about acceleration. Electric cars might be eerily quiet, but they can give you whiplash with their instant torque. Air engines, on the other hand, are still playing catch-up in the performance department. But here's the thing. GM knows these are issues and they're working tirelessly to address them. They're experimenting with higher pressure tanks made from lightweight composite materials to increase range. They're also exploring new air expansion techniques and innovative engine designs to boost power and acceleration. Remember, this technology is still in its infancy and the potential for improvement is enormous. So while you might not be setting lap records at the Nürburgring in an air-powered car just yet, give it time. GM is determined to prove that clean and sustainable can also be quick and exciting. Section 6. Filling up on air the future of refueling. Now let's talk refueling. With gasoline, it's a messy affair involving noxious fumes and the lingering smell of petrol. With electric cars, it's a waiting game, tethered to a charging station for hours on end. But with GM's compressed air engine, refueling is a breeze. Imagine pulling up to a pump just like you would at a traditional gas station. But instead of filling up with petrol, you're filling up with air. The process is quick, taking just a few minutes to top up your tank. And because air is readily available, there's no need for complex and expensive infrastructure like electric charging stations. GM envisions a future where air compression units are as ubiquitous as gas pumps, available at gas stations, service centers, and even in your own garage. Imagine the convenience of filling up your car with air while you pop into the shops. Of course, this will require a significant investment in infrastructure, but it's a far cry from the massive undertaking required to build a nationwide network of electric charging stations. So forget about range anxiety and endless charging times. With GM's air engine, refueling is quick, convenient and as simple as breathing. Section 7 Safety First Dispelling Concerns About High Pressure Tanks I know what you're thinking. High pressure air tanks? Sounds like a recipe for disaster. And yes, I'll admit, the thought of driving around with a tank full of compressed air might give some drivers pause, but before you envision your car turning into a metal balloon animal, let me assure you, safety is paramount for GM. They've gone to great lengths to ensure their air tanks are as safe as they are innovative. We're not talking about your average scuba tank here. These tanks are made from reinforced carbon fiber, a material that's both incredibly strong and surprisingly lightweight. They're designed to withstand impacts, punctures, and even fires, exceeding the strictest safety standards. Think of it like this. Formula One cars have been using compressed air systems for years, and those guys crash more often than I do. GM's engineers have incorporated multiple safety features, including pressure release valves, temperature sensors, and automatic shutoff systems to prevent any potential mishaps. So, rest assured, these air tanks are built to withstand even the most demanding driving conditions. Of course, no technology is completely foolproof, but GM is committed to making their air-powered cars as safe, if not safer, than their gasoline-powered counterparts. Section 8, GM's gamble a bold bet on air power. Let's face it, the car industry is notoriously resistant to change. For decades, they've been content to churn out gas-guzzling behemoths, paying lip service to innovation while dragging their feet. But with their bold bet on compressed air technology, GM is throwing down the gauntlet, challenging the status quo and forcing the rest of the industry to sit up and take notice. This isn't just about building a greener car, it's about fundamentally rethinking how we power our vehicles. It's about breaking free from the shackles of fossil fuels and embracing a cleaner, more sustainable future. 
And GM isn't just dipping their toes in the water, they're diving in headfirst. They're investing heavily in research and development, building prototypes and partnering with suppliers to bring their vision to life. This is a gamble, make no mistake. But it's a calculated gamble, backed by the resources and the expertise of one of the world's largest automakers. And if it pays off, it could have seismic repercussions for the entire automotive landscape. Section 9, the road ahead, a new era for the auto industry. So there you have it, GM's compressed air engine, a revolutionary technology with the potential to reshape the auto industry as we know it. Is it a silver bullet solution to all our environmental woes? No, of course not. There are still challenges to overcome, hurdles to jump and skeptics to prove wrong. Range and performance need to improve, refueling infrastructure needs to be built, and public perception needs to be won over. But the potential is undeniable. Imagine a world where our cities are no longer choked with smog, where we're no longer reliant on fossil fuels, where driving is once again a joyful and guilt-free experience. GM's air-powered gamble could be the catalyst for a new era in automotive history, an era of clean, sustainable and affordable transportation for all. It's a future worth fighting for, a future worth getting excited about. So buckle up, folks, because the road ahead is about to get very interesting. The air-powered revolution is coming and it's going to be a wild ride.